hand, foot and mouth disease. It's the kind of condition that makes you want to lose your lunch, but many of you will have heard about this because it's such a common condition of childhood. It's highly contagious and tends to occur in childcare and primary school clusters. So what do you need to know? Firstly, it's completely unrelated to foot and mouth disease, which affects animals. The one that affects kids is most commonly caused by the Coxsackie A virus, though there are other less common culprits. The incubation period, which is the time from exposure to getting sick, between three to six days. All up, it lasts just over a week and is highly infectious, meaning school exclusion until all the blisters have dried up completely. Now it's got a very classic way of behaving. It starts with two days of fever, low appetite, and sore throat. That's because blisters appear in the cheeks and inside the mouth, which form ulcers, and these hurt. Mouth and throat pain lead to poor eating and drinking, so dehydration is a major problem here. Sometimes I'll have to actually admit a child to hospital just because they can't drink and stay adequately hydrated. Two days after this, a rash forms on the body. Different, it's red with a brown scale, most commonly on the palms and fingers, soles of the feet and toes, sometimes on the bottom and genitalia. These are not itchy and they seldom occur over the trunk. If your child is really itchy, think chicken pox or perhaps an eczema exacerbation. If you're not sure, have them seen by a doctor. So that's it. We said all up at last between seven to 10 days. And although they're not highly contagious once the blister fluid is gone, and yes, they can return to daycare or school, they can actually continue to shed the virus through saliva and feces for weeks following infection. So hand hygiene is crucial. And once recovered, you usually become immune to hand, foot and mouth disease from that particular virus, but a different virus may come up later causing the same presentation. So most important things to remember, there's no place for antibiotics here. Give pain relief as needed. Watch for dehydration and have your child seen by a doctor if you're concerned in any way.